Welcome uh, all of you here from the Iranian American community in Arizona, uh, their neighbors and friends in the community, the various legislators who are here today, uh, and those who are interested in the issue of human rights. Because for those of you who are unfamiliar with uh, what goes on in Iran, and I'm sure there are not many of you here who don't know, but the fact is women in Iran lack the most basic human rights. They uh, do not have the same right to divorce as men do. Uh, when women are divorced in Iran, they lack uh, the right of custody of their own children. They can be arrested, beaten, and basically disappeared for not following the rules on veiling that the vice police uh, that roam the streets in the cities of Iran. Now, we're going to hear today from a variety of speakers, and we're going to focus on some very important issues to us as Americans, including the role of Iran in the world and their uh, seeking nuclear weapons, and what a threat this poses, uh, not just to the Iranian people or to the people in the region, but to all the peoples in the world. And we're going to hear more about that. But I think it's also important that we hear about what it is uh, as our responsibility as Americans uh, to a different group uh, of Iranian dissidents. You heard reference in the opening to those who are, uh, those who were attacked at Camp Ashraf, and we see the victims' pictures here. Uh, the dozens of people who were killed in that attack. But this is not one attack. This is a series of attacks that has uh, taken place in Iraq. And we're also going to hear later in the program from someone who knows the situation on the ground uh, in Iraq for those 3,000 Iranian dissidents who are imprisoned in what is ironically called Camp Liberty. And I say this has to be a concern of ours because the United States government, when we went into Iraq, got the residents of then Camp Ashraf to lay down their weapons and to turn over their weapons to the US government in return for promise of protection. Well, that promise, as soon as the United States left, has been violated over and over again. And so I think it is important for us as Americans to recognize that we have a responsibility here as well. And we have a responsibility to do what we can, and we'll talk more about that later, uh, to try to give assistance to those 3,000 persons who are still entrapped in Iraq, being persecuted by the Maliki government, that really is acting simply as a puppet of the Iranian regime. It is um, a, a travesty and, I think, a stain on the reputation of the United States. So I'm very pleased that all of you are here. I'm very gratified at the number of people who have come out for this event. I think it does speak to the fact that this is an issue of highest importance to all of us.